Hello friends, welcome to Azure content. This is part 10 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to write the file names as separate rows in CSV file using ADF pipeline. So let's see the requirement in details. So we have few files present in our ADLS input container in the ADLS that is Azure Data Lake storage. So I want to fetch the file names of all the files and I want to load it into CSV file okay, as a separate entry for each of the file names. Okay. So how to do this using ADF pipeline? Let's see in practical. So let me go to Azure portal and here you can see inside my ADLS uh, storage account we have a folder called ADLS input. Okay. Inside this I have a uh, few files. Okay. So I want to uh, fetch the file names of all the files and I want to load it into the CSV file. So let me start creating the pipeline to meet the requirement. So first of all to fetch the file names I am going to use get metadata activity and here let me create a data set pointing to my ADLS gen2 and let me select CSV format. Anyways I am going to point this data set to the uh, folder ADLS input folder. So I can choose any of the formats. So let me select the linked service and here let me uh, just select the folder. I am not going to select any file name. Let me just remove this import schema option and here let me select child items. So what this will do is if I debug this now it will uh, give us the list of all the file files present in the ADLS input container. So let me debug this. Yeah, so get metadata activity execution is completed. Let me check the output. So you can see inside this child item array we are going we are getting all the file names. Okay. So now so now I want to load these file names into CSV file. So what happens if we iterate through each of the files and then we try to use copy activity. Let me uh, try to show you. So here I am uh, using a for each activity in order to iterate through each of the JSON. Uh, that contains the file name. Okay, so let me select this activity get metadata dot output dot child items. Okay, so inside this for each, let me try to use copy data activity. And now we need to copy item dot name to our sync that is CSV file. Okay, so let's try to do that. So so here in the source data set, I'm going to point this data set to a dummy file so that we can make use of additional column okay we don't need to uh, load any data from any source file to uh, sync but we need to uh, use the expression that is item dot name to load the data into csv file okay so let me create a data set pointing to one dummy file that i have in my adls account let me select a csv format and here in the file path i am going to select my dummy file which is present in demo folder. So let me show you that also. Let it get created and let me open this data set and let me preview the data. So you can see this file doesn't have any relevant data. It just has a dummy uh, content called column one. Okay. So I'm going to use that file as a source and here in the additional column I'm going to create a new column called file names. Okay. And here we can add dynamic content and we can use any expression uh, or any function or variables okay so what we need to copy is item dot name which is nothing but file name for each of the files okay so here let me try to make use of item dot name and in the sync let me create the output file uh, data set okay so let me choose csv and let me create a new folder called file name folder okay and here let me give the file name as file names dot csv okay let me remove this and as we have one header uh, i mean the additional column that will act as a header so i'm checking that so uh, let me go to mapping and here let me import schema so while importing schema we need to give some value to this uh, additional column that we are going to create so let me give the value as suppose uh, file one okay dot csv so let me hit on okay so it is going to import schema now so you can see this particular column is the 
uh, is the predefined column that we had column 1 ok. So, we do not want this let me delete this and this is the additional column that we created. So, you can see here it is saying additional and in the destination uh, this column is undefined. So, let me give it a proper name as file names ok. So, now let me try to run this and we will see what happens ok. So, what we are expecting is we are expecting that this get metadata activity is going to give us the list of all the file names ok and we are going to iterate through each of the files and we are going to copy the file names using this additional column and we are going to store it into CSV. So, let us see if it works or not ok. So, you can see copy data is uh, executing for all the files. So, you can see for few of the files this copy data has been completed. So, let me check this in our container. So, let me refresh and here our new folder got created named as file name folder and here file name csv got created. So, let me check the content here. So, you can see file names column has been created and only one uh, file name is present here. Let the pipeline gets completed. Yes. So, our pipeline execution is completed. Now, let me check the uh, output again. Let me click on this edit. Now, you can see uh, the file name has been changed and this is giving only one file name. So, what happened to other files? So, basically we cannot we cannot append the data into CSV file ok. It will override the content whatever was present previously. So, suppose this copy activity was running uh, in the starting. So, it generated a file uh, that with the name as file names dot CSV and in that we had a column called file names ok. Inside that this was the value of that column ok. So, once this got completed again this copy activity uh, ran right. So, what it did is it this value replaced the previous value. So, this file got regenerated with the help of this copy activity ok. So, basically all the data got overwritten and at the end this copy activity uh, which has this value this was the last value that got overwritten ok. So, basically we do not have any option to append the data inside a CSV ok. And why this data got overwritten into this file because we have explicitly given the file name to the sync right. Let me show you the sync data set. So, you can see we have given the hard coded name to the file name. So, if we do not provide file name here what it will do is it will auto generate file names for each copy activity. So, suppose for the first iteration it will generate a file called I am just giving a random value. So, it will generate a file called file 1 and then it will uh, for the next iteration it will gener generate another file called file 2. This will have the first file name uh, and this will have the second file name. So, similarly all the file names will be created uh, in different files ok not in the same, same file, but this is not what we require. So, we want all the file names inside a single file ok. So, for that what we can do is let me remove this and let me uh, delete this copy activity. Now, what we will do is whatever we are getting as a output of this get metadata activity we are going to append all these in a variable ok. So, let me create a variable called file name variable file name variable and to use append variable activity we need to have this data type as array ok. So, inside this for each I am going to use append variable activity ok. So, what this will do is it will create an array like this and it will have all the file names in the form of array and for each iteration it will keep on adding the file name into this array ok. So, this is how it will formulate the array at the end of the execution ok. So, here let me select that array and here we will mention item dot file name sorry item dot name. So, that it will generate the array containing the list of the files ok. So, here now let me debug the pipeline. So, now you can see all the append variable execution got completed and our variable would be holding the uh, list of file names now ok. The same we need to copy using the copy activity outside for each. So, let me grab this and now let me point the source data set 
to the dummy file ok so let me select csv and i have let me select the link service and i have the dummy file present in my demo folder so let me select that so here i am pointing to my dummy file so let me click on ok and now here i am going to create additional column called file names and here i am going to add dynamic content and as our data is in the variable called uh, file name variable so let me select this and let me provide a string interpolation ok and in the sync i am going to create the sync data set so let me create the sync data set pointing to adls gen 2 and let me give the folder name as file name folder so this folder is already existing let me delete it first because from the last run this is existing so let me delete it yeah and here the file name should be file names dot csv even if i don't delete it, it it won't be a problem because it is already existing and this file would have been replaced uh, with the new content but uh, for simplicity i deleted it and here let me add first row as header and let me remove import scheme option and now let me go to mapping again and let me provide value to this variable it would be just a dummy value as this is an array so let me provide the value in an array so i'm just giving a dummy value so that it would be able to import schema so as you can see this is the previous column that we had uh, that is column 1 from the dummy file so let me delete this and this is a new uh, additional column that we added let me give proper name to the destination file um, column so we are good ok so now let me debug this so let's so let's wait for the execution to be completed so now you can see pipeline execution is completed now let me go back to ADLS and let me hit on refresh so you can see the new uh, folder got generated and here the newly created file also got generated so let me check the content and you can see all the file names are coming as comma separated values as a part of an array ok because we have used append variable to append all these values of the file names ok but our aim is not to get the file names in this format right we want the file name to be coming as separate uh, row in the csv ok so so since we have to perform data transformation we have to do uh, lots of changes in this data we need to remove uh, few symbols and we need to bring the single row into multiple rows so here we need to make use of data flow to perform the data transformation so let me create a data flow and for this data flow what we will do is let me uh, turn on this data flow debug option and we will use this file as the source in the data flow ok so our data flow debug has been turned on let me add the source trans transformation here and let me select the same data set that we have used as the sync data set in copy activity so let me point to this data set that is uh, delimited text 21 so let me select this and let me preview the data once yeah so it is giving the same value that we have in the uh, this file so you can see all these values are coming as a string it looks like an array but uh, actually the whole content is uh, being treated as a string so to convert it into proper array let me first remove the quotes and also the brackets angular brackets so to do that let me use derive column transformation and here let me point to the column coming from the source so let me import projection here so that we can be able to uh, select the column from the drop down ok so it is importing the schema so let's wait yeah so it has successfully imp imported the schema now if i click on this drop down i'll be able to select the column name ok and in this expression now we will have to remove angular brackets and also we need to remove uh, double quotes ok so what i will do is i will use replace function and in this we need to provide from which string we, we want to replace and what is the value that we want to replace so we want to replace angular brackets so let me give left angular bracket first and we will replace it with empty value 
and then again on top of this I am writing another replace function ok to remove let me give single uh, quotes and here let me remove the right angular bracket and replace it with empty value ok. Now let me close this again what we want to replace is we want to replace double quotes right let me save this and let me show you. So you we want to replace this double quotes as well ok. So let me hit on this expression again and here let me use another replace function and on top of all these values we will be replacing double quotes. So inside this single quotes I am giving one double quote ok and I am replacing it with empty value. So we are good let me hit save and finish and let me preview the data. So you can see all the values are coming as comma separated values ok. So now I want to flatten this data and convert it into multiple rows right. So for that I need to use flatten transformation but since this is a not a proper array so I cannot select this column it should be an array then only I will be able to unroll that column. So what we can do is we need to convert it into proper array. So for that I will be using split function. It will basically split the column value as the uh, array of the string ok and with the help of this delimiter whatever we will be providing it will split the values as an item of array ok. So here I am going to provide comma because our values uh, or the column values are separated by comma. So here let me close this and let me hit on this save and finish. Now if I preview uh, if I refresh the data this will be coming as item of array ok. So let me hit on refresh. So you can see now the file names column got converted into actual array ok. In the source transformation you could have seen that this value is returning as a array but it is actually an a string and you can see the type of this was abc that means it is a string format and if, we, if you see this de derived column output you can see the type is an array and this whole value has been converted into an array if I click on this you can see each of the uh, column value each of the file name is coming as a item of an array ok. Now we need to convert this item of array as separate rows. So for that I am going to use this flatten transformation and here let me select this file names array ok and let me preview the data yeah. So now under this file names column all the co files are coming as a separate rows ok. So let me now add the sync transformation that will be pointing to our sync data set. So we can use the same data set that is pointing to our source so that it will update the same file that is coming from the source ok. So let me use the same data set that we have in the source that is delimited text 21 let me select the same and in the settings let me give output to single file and let me set single partition and here I will provide the file name again let me copy it let me paste it here. So now we are good to run the pipeline let me call this data flow let me call this data flow after this copy activity let me join this copy activity and the data flow let me pro um, let me auto align the pipeline and now let me debug the pipeline ok let us wait for the pipeline execution to be completed. So you can see pipeline execution is completed now let me hit on refresh and let me check the output now. So let me click this edit tab and now you can see all the file names are coming as a separate rows ok. If I preview this you can see it is coming perfectly as we wanted ok. Let me go back to presentation so you can see it has 7 files and here also we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 files as the output. So we are good. So that's it for this video guys I hope you like the content please keep watching the videos please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and also please click on bell icon to get notification whenever I add videos thank you please stay tuned.